Hey, all you AIWF wrestling fanatics, Sergeant Kevin Stryker coming to you live here from Kuwait. Uh, I've been brought to my attention from the AIWF committee and the board of directors that everybody's been asking how Sergeant Kevin Stryker doing. I hadn't heard nothing out of him. Well, here's just a little small video just to let you know that I am doing very well. Uh, as you probably hear in the background, we've got a lot of wind going on. And when I turn this camera around, you can see that there's a lot of dust that's flying around through here. Unfortunately, they're so. Have you seen them? They are so hot. It is ridiculous. They they are amazing. They're amazing.
Greetings and salutations, AIWF fans, and tonight's feature confrontation. AIWF Mid-Atlantic champion J.D. Anderson is holding court, and he is defending his title against El Torador from Mexico. And Johnny Reb, I don't know too much about this guy, but uh, he looks like he's ready for J.D. Yeah, really, he don't look like he's taking it very seriously or he's just trying to aggravate Anderson, which might not be a bad thing. You get Anderson off his game, he just he loses his mind. Yep. What J little he's got to lose. Well, what, what mind he's got left. I know you dislike uh, J.D. Anderson pretty intensely, Johnny Reb. Yeah, for about 19, maybe 20 years now, I guess. <laughs> but uh, he does not like this, uh, the antics of El Torador here. Working barefoot, wrestling barefoot, which is going to give him a disadvantage, I would think. But you know how it is in Mexico. They work things a lot differently, and they wrestle a lot differently. And J.D. Anderson now has announced that he is the leader of the faction known as Simply Irresistible, along with Damian Arcade. I'd say that'd be a small faction if he's the leader. JQ Mile, uh, GQ Miles. Well, they call him Stephen Niles GQ now. GQ Niles. Makes no sense. And uh, then you have, uh, of course, every match now, J.D. Anderson must bring a valet. It must be in his contract somewhere. And I only know this one as Idaho. <laughs> uh, okay. That's a four-on-one match, really, and so El Torador is going to have this work cut out for him. And J.D. Anderson's not going to execute a single scientific move. I thought he was going to for a second, side headlock, but of course the thumb to the throat. A J.D. Anderson staple, and he's going to disgust the crowd by generating his kiss. This is just delightful. Yeah, Anderson's got this guy outweighed by what? 70, 80 pounds, I guess. 60, 50, 60 pounds, I don't know. And got years of experience on him, I'm sure. And Absolutely. Then, like you said, it's it's basically a four on one match when it boils down to so I don't like this kid's chances. Now with GQ Niles, it's really more like three and a half. That's a whole other story yeah, for that's another a good day. Point, yeah. <laughs> well, he's just snagging. Chops and chopping. I tell you something, Torador does not need to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with J.D. Anderson. He's going to have to turn this into a wrestling match. Oh, nice move nice right there. Nice deep arm drag into a side headlock. That's what he's going to have to do is use his quickness to keep Anderson off balance, try to keep him down on the mat, wear he's, him down. And he's going to try to cauliflower those ears with a side headlock. Low oh, blow by oh, low Anderson. Blow already. Blatantly. New referee Jacob here in what looks like his first match. And I believe the J.D. is going to just take advantage oh, of Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he will. Oh, yeah, he'll have a field day with this kid. Headbutt. Down goes El Torador. You know, when you're when you're inexperienced, you're just starting out, you have to sign these open contracts. Now, J.D. did go ahead and say he'd put the title on the line, but he, I think he knew that yeah. El Torador yeah. in a four-on-one was going to have a hard time even getting him on his back. Yeah, he, he wasn't worried too much about this one, I don't think. But we know, you know, anything can happen in AIWF. Yep, that's true. I, for one, would love to see it. Uh, a guy who I don't know very well win the belt. Just to, just, to, just to stick it. Whoa! What the heck is that? A fan is trying to involve herself in the match here. Raising up for the oh, right, get security on their toes here. My goodness. Elbow! the second time in a row that I've been blindsided by the fan. Well, can't say it wasn't justified, even though don't condone fans getting involved. But, never. But never. You can only get yourself hurt. Hey, right, small hey, we, got a, we got a pin right here. The referee oh. a little bit out of position. <laughs> oh, right hand by Anderson just floors Florida. That was a nicely executed small package. I'm, I'm talking about that because I do not want to talk about J.D. Anderson dancing anymore. Quite frankly, it's disgusting. You know, he's he shouldn't be calling anybody fat for that. I know he's lost a lot of weight, but still. Yeah, he's still carrying a Dunlop around there. Yeah. So, while, you know. Oh! 
Almost the knee drops Del Toro out of the way. The point is, is that uh, if you're going to do that, at least get some sun, J.D. Oh, he's like the second rope. He's just starting pounding away. Forearm shots, all of them legal. Referee's trying to make a count. But El Torador is ignoring him. Big elbow to the top of J.D. Anderson's head. El Floppo, down he goes. He's going to try to steal a victory here and the cover. One, two. Oh. Oh. Close. Thumb to the eye. J.D. Anderson flopping around like a carp in there after that exchange of punches. Yep. Now he's just going to stop away because that's all he knows how to do. You got Damian Arcane on one side. You got Idaho on the other side. And you got Stephen oh. Miles in the corner. And, and we still got a fan trying to apparently get it to Apparently somebody is trying to be El Torador's manager. And security over there having to restrain this person. Lonnie had to put down his good goal. <laughs> Back to the in-ring action. And a oh, right a shot to the ear. Here, that'll ring. And there we go again. Stand on the man's throat, why don't you, Anderson? Referee being distracted by Idaho over here. Come on, referee, getting the ball game now. Quite frankly, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for the AIWF Mid Atlantic to have this scumbag as our as our standard bearer. And that's I know I know it's not my place to use that kind of language, but I've known to use emotion on occasion. Well sometimes you can't help it when you say here night after I'm watching night, a guy just cheat, going on. cheating and, and using I mean how many people does he need in his entourage? Really? Well you know as well as I do. Somebody needs to do me a favor and get the belt off of that guy. You know as well as I do, Scott. I've you know I've been up and down the road against this guy for years, and he's always surrounded himself. He's never, I've never seen him come to the ring by himself. He's always got somebody. He's gonna make me vomit if he keeps it up. Quite frankly, up he goes, big elbow. Nope, he's just gonna stop him. The uh, trademark scientific skill of J.D. Anderson with a stop. Frankly, I'm disgusted. I wish he'd go back to wearing a singlet or something instead of those purple tights that he has to pull up after every move. Simply irresistible, simply disgusting. I, I mean... Uh, he's just toying with his kid now, and as GQ now is sneaking up on the edge of the ring. And you know, it's quite typical of uh, J.D. Anderson to surround... Whoa! Jamie oh, Arcade just hit the ref! He's just going to stomp away. This is... This is a disgrace. Give me a break. A four-on-one attack. I... Oh! oh God. I guess we're just going to do whatever we want to here. And now J.D. Anderson's got that dang four, finger four leg lock. The trademark of nothing less than a handicap match. Empty Ox needs to do something about this. This is an absolute disgrace. You know, I didn't let this crap go on when I was commissioner, and they fired me. Here's yeah, referee here Darren. Referee. I think he has submitted. Somebody finally woke up the referee and came in the back just in time to give J.D. Anderson a tainted victory.
provided by Quality and 2136 Rockford Street in Mount Airy, North Carolina, phone number 336-789-2000 or qualityin.com. Hey, IWF fans, Sergeant Kevin Stryker is back once again, and I'll come back with a vengeance. Now let me tell you something, GQ Niles. You want to come out there and start running your mouth to me? Well, let me tell you something. Mount Airy, North Carolina, June 22nd, boot camp match right here in the middle of the ring. Kevin Stryker will give you the military ass whooping that you ain't never had before. Kevin Stryker, you are going to hold the world's record for the shortest comeback in AIWF history. Because GQ, GQ Niles, <laughs> oh, I get all the oh, glory up, baby, yeah. is going to tear your head off right there on June 22nd <laughs> and ship you out of town in a box. You've been laying down at Myrtle Beach, y'all. On the beach. On the beach. With fat Mexican chicks. Hey, ask your old lady what it's like to be in a judge's chamber. <laughs> huh? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Because when I'm in Mount Airy, I'm the only man in Mount Airy. Mm -hmm. You can bet on that. I bring them with me, I take them with me. Because that's what Mount Airy does for me. Huh? It fuels a fire. Kevin Stryker, <laughs> you interfered with that fire tonight. June 22nd. This man's gonna put you in line. Fire so very is irresistible. Out. We're taking over the world. That's fine.